Poland has sworn in another 27 Supreme Court judges, despite a referral to the European Court of Justice. Ahead of the court ruling, Polish President Andrzej Duda pushed ahead with appointing those new judges after previously lowering the retirement age, which forced many of its existing judges out. Uh, well, to discuss this a little more, I'm joined uh, in the studio by Stefan de Vries. Good morning to you, Stefan. Uh, just explain to us, why is the EU taking action against Poland over this? Well, it's actually an ongoing row of, about the legal system in Poland between Brussels and Warsaw. Uh, the European Commission is accusing Poland that it's undermining the, the independence of its legal system. Um, and, and that's one of the basic values of the European Union. And now, by appointing the new judges yesterday, uh, Poland is showing that it goes on with the reforms and that they're not listening to Brussels. Um, so they're taking the conflict a step further. And what's in it for Poland? Why do they want to appoint these new judges? Well, the Polish government say that they want to fight corruption to make the legal system more efficient. But in reality, what they do is forcing judges who were already there in the, during the communist era in Poland to retire. Um, and um, effectively, it's now the president himself and his ruling party, uh, Law and Justice, who is appointing the judges um, in Poland, so making them more uh, liable to influence by uh, to being influenced by politicians. And of course, this has knock-on effects for uh, Poland's position in the EU, doesn't it? Yes, absolutely. And we see already an influence on the legal system in Poland. For instance, the uh, authorities in the Netherlands, in Spain and in Ireland, they now refuse to extradite Polish uh, suspects who are being arrested in those countries, to extradite them to Poland because they do not believe anymore in the independence of the legal system. And then, of course, there's Article 7, which is the nuclear bomb of the European Union. And it basically means punishing member states who do not respect the treaties, um, which can lead to a suspension of Poland as a EU, EU member. Uh, but Poland is being supported by Hungary. Uh, Viktor Orban, of course, the conservative leader of Hungary, is also in the same position as uh, Poland. Poland, so it's very unlikely that po Poland will be suspended. Uh, but at least by appointing the new judges yesterday, uh, President Andrzej Duda shows that he's not stepping down and he's clearly seeking a confrontation with Brussels.